We're back in the turbo shop today. We're gonna to break down the LOI, LBZ, LMM and show you everything you need to know about the variable vein Duramax lineup. All right. So factory LOI turbocharger. Uh, this is the, the biggest turbocharger of the variable vein trucks. So 04 and a half, 05 was the LOI. It has a 62.6 millimeter compressor measured on the inducer here, um, which makes it the largest compressor. It's also uh, the only one with a through bore turbine. So they're, they're pretty easy to identify. The other cool thing about the LOI, if you haven't seen the inside of one, here's the variable vein pack. This, there's an actuator in the center section that moves this ring, it's called the unison ring. And that makes sure that all the veins move in step with each other. And so you can change the geometry or the nozzle size on the veins. So if you're at low speed or low load and you want, uh, you want to maintain good compressor speed, good turbine speed, you can close the veins, which would be this position. And what this does is make this nozzle here which is the space between the veins, smaller. And that increases the velocity of the exhaust gas flowing through them, which speeds up the turbine a little bit, actually quite a lot. And then as you get into higher load situations, you can, get, you can equalize your back pressure, equalize your drive pressure, uh, maintain good turbine shaft speed by moving the unison ring. And that's all electronically controlled by the engine management system. And uh, voila, you have high gas flow, high horsepower, uh, high movement. Some other situations which are kind of interesting that this is good for is uh, turbine braking. So you can close the veins up all the way and if, you have, if you're in tow haul mode or you have high engine speed, you have a lot of exhaust pumping through the engine. Um, with the veins closed you create a lot of back pressure, 60-70 pounds of back pressure. And what that does is cause a compression braking type situation. So the engine gets choked up and uh, you can generate quite a bit of horsepower, 120, 150 horsepower pretty easily in braking power by closing these veins. So we do that in tuning. I'll take this unison ring off and show you one of the neat features of the LOI. Now the LOI, the LBZ, and the LMM are all fairly similar turbochargers. I'm not gonna go into each one specifically. The main difference is the measurement on the compressor and, uh, and turbine wheels, the blade count on the turbine wheel, and then the vein height. And when I say vein height, I mean the height of this vein as measured this way. Okay, as we measure the veins this way, we get a 15 millimeter vein. Now that is the tallest. And what that means is that the LOI has the best flowing exhaust section from the factory of any of the variable geometry turbochargers, which makes it the most desirable for the higher horsepower guys. Um, in our experience, not really necessary until you're going past the 640, 650 mark. Um, it does trade off a little bit on low speed performance uh, using the stock unison ring compared to the LMM or the LBZ turbocharger. Let's look at the wheels. So I told you already it's a 62.6 millimeter compressor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven blade compressor. So it's the largest compressor of any of the variable geometry turbochargers. It also has a pretty good sized turbine, uh, 65 by 62 stock. It's a, got a lot of blades on it and the blades are thick. The thickness of the blade is uh, about a millimeter in, in some points. Um, and that is because when you have these, these nozzles like this, you have areas of high gas velocity and high heat. So these veins are made out of Inconel. The ring is Inconel. Um, the turbine shaft and the turbine head itself, or not the shaft, the turbine head itself is Inconel. Uh, and it has these thick blades to protect it from, from melting um, or, or being eroded by the hot exhaust gas. Um, so what's this thing good for? Well, again, similar to the LB7, we're in the 530, 540 horsepower. I have seen some go 550 uh, with all the airflow mods. The LOI was not given the best breathing package from the factory, so it has a very restrictive intake on it. Uh, has an EGR system on it, which isn't that great. It has a Y bridge on it, which is crap. Uh, it typically blows apart. We see a lot of boost leaks on these trucks. Um, but in a performance application where all that stuff is addressed and you have a good sealed up system, the LOI turbocharger is the highest performing stock turbocharger on the Duramax. We don't really see too many failures on them. Really, most of the failures are associated with EGR failures, 
or with PCV uh, issues or blow by. Um, and what happens is that this vein section, oil starts to get pushed through here, it gets baked on, the veins get gummed up, and the, and the unison ring stops moving. And then you start getting turbocharger air codes, uh, turbo vein position air codes, that sort of thing. So when that happens, the turbocharger's got to come apart, get cleaned up. Um, otherwise, we don't really see a whole lot of overspeed and overspeed failures. Um, most of the tuners have it figured out that you can't close the veins up very tight at high load. Um, typical boost range on this turbocharger, 35 PSI. Anything past that, you're kind of getting into the hot zone where you're pushing a lot of hot air. Uh, you may be able to make 41, 42 pounds of boost on this thing, but it's not going to make any more power than it did at 35 PSI. You're really just risking turbocharger failure. In the next video, we'll show you what goes into upgrading the VBT turbochargers, bringing them to the 640 number and beyond. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos and you want to learn more, check out the Diesel Tuners blog, dieseltunersblog.com.